In the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're going to be taking a look at the difference between source and medium within our analytics reports. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We create new content each week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing strategies. All right, let's get into the content. In this video, we're gonna be talking about something really important, and that's understanding source and medium within our analytics software. Uh, and in this case, we're gonna be looking at Google Analytics and understanding what the difference between these two things are and how we can leverage them to really know whether or not our marketing activities are working the way that we've intended. So again, why is this important? You need to have an understanding of where your traffic's coming from in order to build strategies that work. You could be spending a lot of time and energy on one channel that's actually not producing while another channel may be producing. And this is why having a basic understanding of your analytics and knowing where people are coming from is so critical to your overall success. So let's start by looking at source. Source is the origin of your traffic. So this would be the search engine. So we've got Google here as an example or a specific domain. It's the actual site domain or URL that, that sent the traffic. So some of these examples would be Google, like we mentioned, or Baidu could be another one. Bing would be another organic search engine. Uh, you could have things from your automation or your email software. So for instance, HS Automation, it's HubSpot Automation, would be the source of that traffic. We could also have social sites like Pinterest.com, YouTube.com, things of that nature. So the thing to notice here is you can actually create your own sources within your UTMs. So those are our tracking codes that we use, and we have a video on UTMs as well. Um, or they will be pulled in automatically by Google and what they understand within the analytics software. So the sources report will show the sources of the traffic. So the actual sites, the actual brands that are sending the traffic to our website. So this brings up the next question is, what is medium then? So this is gonna be the general category of that source. So medium is going to tell us a little bit more from a higher level what bucket that source would actually fit in. So for example, we'd have something like organic and within organic, we'd have Google, we'd have Bing, we'd have Baidu, we'd have Yahoo, we'd have DuckDuckGo. All of those would be organic search engines. Uh, we have these broken down to some other areas. You'd have none, right? So if they don't, you don't know the medium, this is where you'd see a lot of direct traffic coming through. You'd have email or referral or paid. Those are all examples of mediums because you have multiple different types of sources underneath that medium. Now, one thing to note is you also have something in Google Analytics called channel grouping. Now, this is not the same as a medium. It, it looks the same, it may have some similar attributes, but channel groupings are rule-based groupings of your traffic. Now, this is really important and helpful too. Now, out of the box, Google will have what's called default channel grouping, and these are rules set by analytics, but you can also create your own channel groupings if you want to break down your data in other ways. So this is not the same as medium, but medium can influence the channel groupings. Now, one of the things you'll see is the source medium report. And this is where it pairs the information from both the source, where we are looking at the site or the actual location of the traffic, and the medium, which would be the bucket that it would fit in. So Google organic or example.com slash referral. So now let's shift over to Google Analytics so you can actually see this in action. So when you log into your Google Analytics account, you're going to have a navigation over here on the left-hand side. All of this information that we're looking for is gonna show up under acquisition. Now this is not a G4 account, this is a universal analytics account. G4 is a little bit different and breaking these down can be a little bit more complex. I personally gear myself towards universal analytics right now still because I feel like I, I know it better and I can get more data out of it, but G4 is something you should learn as well. Now getting back to this report here on the left hand side, we would click acquisition. Once I open this drop down, we've got overview, we've got traffic, we've got Google Ads, Search Console, Social, and more. If we want to take a look at our source medium, we actually need to do the drop down here with all traffic. Now we talked before about channels. Now these are the default channel groupings that Google is going to have out of the box. So if I click on channel, it's not giving me source and medium. It's giving me my default channel groupings, which are rules based tracking, uh, rules based bucketing of our traffic. Here you've got organic search, direct, referral, social, email. There's a lot of different types that, that can be used in here. You can set your own channel groupings if you want, but this doesn't tell me about source and medium. To get there, I need to click on source medium, or I could also click here and do source medium, just the source or just the medium. If I click on source medium, now we'll start to see our traffic break down further. 
So as you can see, Google Organic is the leading cause of traffic to our site. Next, we've got some direct traffic. We've got some Baidu Organic. We've got some HubSpot email automation, Bing Organic, Pinterest referral, AMP traffic. So this is traffic coming from AMP listings, uh, YouTube referral, and more. As you can see here, I can start to get an idea of where I need to spend most of my time or am I getting a payback for the investment and the time and energy I'm putting into certain channels. So for instance, we do a lot of work with SEO, go figure, right? And we see that our number one traffic driver is organic search from Google. Now we can also see maybe there's ways that we need to improve our, our HubSpot automation if we want to drive more traffic there. Maybe we want to do more with Pinterest referrals. You know, we can start to dig into these reports and understand the medium. So we're talking about referral traffic, social traffic, organic traffic, and then the sources that we're marketing on. So this was a quick overview of understanding what source is, what medium is, and how we can use them together to get a heartbeat or a better understanding of how our digital marketing efforts are performing. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, or you got another question on analytics or digital marketing in general, please comment below. We'd love to continue that conversation with you. Until next time, happy marketing.